Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to FM Scout, it is RDF and today's video we have a tactic to test created by Victor Hugo, it is a 4-3-1-2, it is very very successful, it scores many goals, it's named the robber, so it's actually named after someone who helps out FM Scout a lot, so shout out to Victor Hugo for recognising the amount of work that robber puts in. But like I said this tactic is a 4-3-1-2, it is hugely successful, so in this test I tested it with 3 teams. I'm just going back on some negative feedback that I received before why do I only test with good teams well I don't always test with good teams but when I do test tactics I like to test with one team because I like to play every single game I don't go on holiday but because some people also want something different this video is also going to cater for those people so in this test we have three different teams Norwich who are predicted to get promoted we've got Bristol City who are predicted to finish mid table and we got Wickham who just got promoted to the championship and they are predicted to finish rock bottom we want to see how all three of these teams get on so just to confirm Norwich media prediction second Bristol media prediction is 13th and lastly Wickham Wanderers media prediction is 24th so what we're actually going to do we're going to skip the season the season's actually played if you're looking at my game status you already know the season's played so we are actually going to check the results first because I want you guys to see the amazing results this tactic got and then we are going to look at the tactic finally before closing the video so before we start make sure if you are new or you haven't yet to hit that subscribe button hit the like button and also leave a comment some of you guys do not have your notifications on so make sure you turn your notifications on to get the most recent video sent straight to yourself. So here we are with the tactic, Norwich won the league. They were the champions, played 46, won 33, drew 9, lost 4 with 108 points. Bristol City, who were predicted to finish 13th, they played 46, won 26, drew 9, lost 11, scored 119 goals, the most in the league, and got 87 points. Lastly, Wickham, who were predicted to finish 24th, remember this guys, they were predicted to finish 24th, they are now promoted to the Premiership, absolutely ridiculous in my eyes, they scored 101 goals also, getting 79 points, absolutely incredible. If we go back one page, you can see the top three goal scorers, one is from Norwich, one is from Wickham, one is from Bristol City. The top three teams who scored the most in the Championship were, again, Bristol City who scored the most, Norwich who scored the second most and then Wickham who came in third. Wickham though did concede 85 goals, just putting that out there. Even with the average rating, we've got the Norwich player and we have a Bristol City player. Player of the match award is the same, two Norwich players and for the assist we have a Norwich player and we have a Wickham Wanderers player. The statistics, the goals, like I said, the top three teams are all us. Expected goals, again, top three teams are all us. Clear cut chances created, Norwich first, Bristol fourth and Wickham joint seven. Also for the defending, we got mixed results. So if you are a good team like Norwich, you are bound to have a decent defensive record. But if you are kind of the lesser reputations in the league, then it's kind of a we are going to score more than you kind of tactic. So you can score five, you might concede three at the same time. But it doesn't matter because the tactic is hugely successful. And we can see with the possession one also, the three teams that won the possession the most were Bristol City, Wickham and Norwich. So the pressing, the high intensity of this tactic works excellently so just to confirm the top three goal scorers were from norwich and wickham and bristol city joint second we have timo puki who is also from norwich if we check the team report from norwich who are the better team they were aggressive and clinical but wickham wanderers are also aggressive and clinical so too as bristol city so attacking wise absolutely excellent but what we are going to do now is look at the tactic finally so it is a four three two one let me just clear this team don't know why it's even selected but in goal we have the sweeper keeper and the instruction is to pass it shorter the two fullbacks are inverted wing backs so fairly attacking defenders here we got shoot less often and tackle harder as their instructions two central defenders are ball playing defenders one is instructed to stay wider and tackle harder the other the exact same on the flanks we have two wide midfielders on the support duty their instruction is to pass it shorter take more risk cross less often cross from the byline 
run wide with the ball is on the left winger but the right winger has dribbled more and then both of them also have shoot less often get further forward stay wider and tackle harder in central midfield we have the deep line playmaker his instruction is to dribble less and tackle harder attacking midfield we have the attacking midfielder on the attack duty his instruction is to shoot less often run from his position tackle harder and mark tighter up top we have the pressing forward on the attack duty his instruction is to pass it shorter take more risk dribble more run wide with the ball and run from position lastly his strike partner is the false nine and his instruction is to pass it shorter run wide with the ball run from his position tackle harder and mark tighter now Hugo Victor actually sent us a tactic before, I have tested his tactic before, it was the F9 Viola, absolute fantastic tactic, that also used a false 9, this tactic again uses a false 9, it's not really a go-to role unless you are really familiar with that tactic, so it looks like a false 9 is Victor Hugo's type of role. For the team instructions, the mentality is on positive, the attacking width is set to fairly wide. For the approach play, there is play out of the defence, the passing directness is set to shorter with the tempo on extremely high. I noticed this combo works very very well on this football manager. In the final third, there is low crosses with work the ball into the box. In transition when the possession has been lost this tactic will counter press and when the possession has been won it will make its counter movements. When the goalkeeper is in possession he is going to be slowing the pace down, distribute it to the flanks and throw it long. Out of possession we have the much higher line of engagement, the standard defence line, offside trap, standard defensive width, pressing intensity is set to extremely urgent and there is prevent short goalkeeper distribution. Now. This tactic looks absolutely fantastic and I can also see many ideas and why it can dominate and score many goals. So for the inverted wing backs they will be pushing forward essentially as attacking midfielders because once they get into the central areas they're not going to stop being creative. Once they get into the central areas I don't know why I've just did that so now I've got a load attack I've had to load the tactic again. But you can see for the inverted wingers, they will be cutting inside more, they will be dribbling more and they will be taking more risk whilst all getting further forward. So once they get in this position, they are still going to be creative with the ball, getting further forward, either dribbling or taking more risk once they are on the ball. The wider midfielders, they will be staying wide, offering you the width. So in possession, sometimes you can be shaped as a 2-5-1-2 fairly attacking or if the deep line playmaker decides to drop and he will be adding some defensive stability to the tactic then you can be shaped as this 2-1-4-1-2 again a very nice shape and just looking at this now this could be a tactic for you guys there is a tactic idea right here for you guys if you want it and then once you are in possession of course your wide midfielders will be looking to get further forward with your attacking midfielder looking to get in but with your attacking midfielder looking to come in your false nine will also be looking to drop back so again this could be another attacking shape and if you are looking at this shape right now you could be licking your lips at the possibility of watching some attacking play for the set pieces for the corners for the attacking corner on the right hand side this is what it looks like so if you are using fm touch or fm on the xbox i don't know and you want to see the set pieces this is what it looks like for the for the attacking corner on the right and the attacking corner on the left this is what it looks like now for the throw-ins the attacking throw-ins on the right this is what it looks like so there is a long throw from the throwing taker and on the left hand side this is what it looks like there are no results for us to go to because we already checked the results but we are just going to look at Norwich quickly and we're going to see that Jordan Hugel managed to score 32, 32 goals in 45 games, Carlton Morris scored 21 goals but he's on loan so he's not actually our player. Timo Puki managed to score 17 goals and Buendia managed to get 26 assists, absolutely fantastic. Let's go to Bristol City quickly. Bristol City, their top goal scorer was a name that I can't pronounce, Famaro Di Hadi. <laughs> he scored 25 goals in 34 games. Jamie Patterson scored 13 goals in 48 games. Nike Wells managed to get 13, ga 13 goals in 37 games. Chris Martin gets him 13 goals in 21 games. The highest assist was Stephen Sessegnon, the right back, with 13 assists. Lastly, now we are going to check Wickham Wanderers. Their top goal scorer was Scott Cashlet. He scored 24 goals in 38 appearances. Decent player, not bad. He's got pace, he's got he can finish. He's from Israel. Decent player he looks. 
And then we have Nick Freeman, who scored 11 goals in 34 games. The biggest assist in this team was Joe Jacobson, the left back. He got 17 assists. Jack Grimmer, the right back, got 12 assists. While David Wheeler, the right winger, managed to get 12 assists. So that is it for this tactic i hope you guys have enjoyed this video make sure you download this tactic from the fm scout website the link will be in the description the tactic was created by victor hugo a very good friend of ours and it's named the robber it is a 4-3-1-2 so make sure you guys check it out and also before you leave make sure you are subscribed to this channel leave a comment leave a like it helps us out a lot and the more we get helped the more we can help others i will see you soon make sure you stay safe please Peace out from RDF. See ya.